I've always had a love of glass pressed beads. And when the jewelry making buying team approached me earlier this year and asked me if I'd like to design and launch my very own bead, of course I jumped at the opportunity. So myself, Zena and the team flew to Prague where we then traveled to the famous Crystal Valley. We're here at the airport, just about to get on the plane, about to design Mark Smith's new Oh, where are we going? Where are we going? We're going to the Czech Republic! <laughs> Woohoo! Hello everyone, I am so excited to not only be here in the beautiful Czech Republic, but we're actually here at our, one of our bead factories where we're actually going to be making jewelry maker history because we're just about to pop inside where we're going to be sitting down with the design team putting together the first ever jewelry maker seed bead. Can't tell you how excited I am. So I think you should join me, follow me inside. Walking into the manufacturers was somewhat nerve wracking but very, very exciting. Oh, and yes, I really couldn't help myself here. We then went through to have a meeting with Susanna, the head of manufacturing, where we started to pitch my ideas for my three new beads. So I have come up with three ideas. Okay. I have trawled the internet to find other shapes that are similar or have the same design. And I'm hoping that nothing of this shape or form is out there. Mm -hmm. If it is out there, then you'll have to, you'll be the first to tell <laughs> me. So the second design, now we're still contemplating the name. Um, um, I really like the Swarovski crystal. I like mm -hmm. the bicone shape, but I've not seen a bicone that is longer. Mm -hmm. Okay. It would be a hexagonal shape, six sides. And then again, we'd have decided you'd have the drill hole um, three points, so one through the middle and one top and bottom. So you could make the mandala shapes. Again, we'll give you scope to bead around the outside. The scope to add because of the position of the drill holes. Mm -hmm. You can add layers all the way around. You can have them sat next to each other, whether it's completely closed or open to be able to bead within the designs. And again, there's the scope for all sorts of mandalas and patterns. And it would be really nice to have these in, in not um, high gloss, but more sort of matte colours or, or um, satin colours to get away from the sort of, yes, to get away from the Swarovski sparkle for something a bit. This shape, it's it's the standard shape of press beads, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. we can make smaller. We can, uh, and we can make with three holes because it's with three holes, mm -hmm. it's not on the market yet. So once we had agreed the designs with Susanna, the head of manufacturing, she then had to run the bead shapes past the development manager to see if the shapes would actually work. And then we had to make some small adjustments. Then we were given the green light to go ahead. So after much deliberation, we have decided on the three names for my new ranges. The second, and I think our favorite, we've gone for the Bobby bead. And the story behind the Bobby bead, it's my dad's name and it's a variation of a bicone, so the perfect name is the Bobby bead. So that's it. That's our afternoon finished. Three ranges, not just one, all design. They've had the all clear, they've had the green light. So watch this space. So that's July the 28th, the morning show, 9am, a brand new launch of the world exclusive to jewellery maker, Bobby bead. Really hope you can join us. See you then. <laughs>